Thank you, Chairman. Um, thank you, Commissioner. Appreciate you being here. Um, also want to thank you uh, very much for your uh, investment and good work in the Village of Williamsville's uh, Picture Main Street project. Uh, it's going great. You, your Western office with Daryl Kaminsky and the whole crew have been right there from the start working with the village to get this really important project uh, moving. So thank you. Um, now to the bad part. <laughs> um, regarding funding equity for uh, transit authority, the NFCA uh, continues to be shortchanged. The, um, this past July, the uh, Federal Transit Administration uh, issued a financial condition and capability report. Hopefully you had a chance to, to see that. But some of the things that they said in the report, the, the NFTA does not have the financial capacity to sustain existing services, is unlikely to meet its state of good repair needs over the next five years, and lacks the financial capacity to complete the right light rail vehicle project is currently scheduled. But they also said, quote, the NFT ha has managed its operations effectively and efficiently, but has been hampered by zero growth in the revenue sources used to provide operating assistance. What are we doing uh, to improve the uh, financial assistant go assistance going to the NFTA? Um, thank you for that question. We are in conversations right now with, uh, with the Federal Transit Administration and NFTA on that report. Um, NFTA will see an increase of $600,000 from, uh, from the state in the governor's proposed budget. Um, as you heard, uh, uh, Chairman Prendergast, the challenges of uh, transit systems uh, across the state uh, are there, and uh, we will continue to work with uh, NFTA to, to, to make those uh, uh, changes that need to happen. But we think the 600000 that the governor has included in his budget is a, is a significant increase. Well, it's, it's quite short of that 5% increase that they were looking for. Um, but it's not just a matter of investment in transit in general. It's a matter of fairness. And just to kind of give you an idea of what we're talking about, in the NFTA, they get a $1.56 per trip uh, and three thirty four dollars per uh, rider mile in state support. As compared to Rochester, which is $1.77 and, and $4.50, Albany, which is $2.11 and $3.51, and Syracuse, which is $2.20 per trip and $5.76 per rider mile. And one of the most egregious examples of the unfairness is $52 million that goes to Westchester County bus system, where they have virtually the same amount of buses as the NFTA, and no light rail system, which the NFTA operates, yet only $45 million to the NFTA. Can you justify those discrepancies? I'm not going to do that right now, um, but I'm happy to sit down with you separately and walk through the individual uh, transit authorities across the state and, and walk you through where some of those differences are. Thank you. I appreciate that.